I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light, yeah. Relationships are not my forte. You see if someone grabbed up my wife and saying, completely different ball game. I'll walk away from it and this has been like a therapy session. Razaban for IFO TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. We're here at the O2 Arena. The first fight, Beck Conley. Beck, oh, yeah. commiseration, commiserations firstly. Uh, how tough was that? Um, yeah, I thought it was a cracking fight, to be honest. I'm a bit annoyed about the result. Um, I knew without a knockout, I was never going to get more than a draw because I'd be in the away corner. But I definitely, I was smiling because I thought there's definitely a draw. Um, I felt like my shots were landing and doing damage and her shots looked great, but they weren't landing. Um, she kept diving in with her head and like my coach was quite rightly telling me, step back and uppercut as she does that. But I wasn't quite quick enough and she kept ending up under my armpit, sort of like this. But... Um, yeah, it was all her head landing, like the shots were just missing by like this much. So I was well confident with that, thinking, well, they've got to draw that. But no, they gave her, um, they gave her four rounds, didn't they? Yeah. She's undefeated. Did you expect her to be as game uh, as she was? Um, yeah, I, I felt like my strength, like I'm a lot stronger. That was, um, that was, that was good. That's why I came back from the first round pretty confident. Um, but yeah, I was shocked. Um, I do think it was a draw. I do think the shots were missing. I don't know whether they were scoring those ones. The combinations looked great and they looked fancy, but they weren't landing. Um, the headshot definitely landed. <laughs> but yeah, I kind of like a rough and ready fight anyway. But yeah, next time I'll listen to Coach Dan. That's where he was screaming. I didn't know what he was on about this foot, but he was saying, step back and uppercut as you go back. But I was like, oh my gosh, she's under my arm. <laughs> Where's she going? <laughs> yeah, listen to your coach, I guess, is the uh, answer there. But he seems pretty sharp, so yeah, it is what it is. Doesn't really matter, does it? But, but, <laughs> Beck, you've been around a long time and, and you look quite. No, you. <laughs> you, you, know, no, no. <laughs> you, you seem comfortable in the ring, and it seems like you could probably take that two minute round to a three minute round. Do you think you'll be comfortable if they ever changed it? Yeah, I did my debut to three minute rounds, actually. I did my pro debut, um, did four threes. Um, sorry, stepping out of the light that is making me look my age. <laughs> but yeah, I really enjoy the long ones because I'm built for distance, not for a sprint. <laughs> I always have been. I've got loads of um, slow twitch muscle fibre. You could tell me to run 40 miles right now and my body would just do it. Tell me to sprint 100 metres and I'd probably be the embarrassing one at the back because <laughs> like, I just don't. I mean, you can build fast twitch, but I don't particularly have it. So the three minute rounds really suit me because you've got to take your time a little bit more. Um, but I don't think that's going to happen in my boxing career time. I've got like a year left, maybe. And uh, just enjoying it, really. I am annoyed about that because I was thinking, oh, come away with a draw, which brilliant. Um, but yeah, I did know... Um, I did know I'd have to stop her to get a win there. And I did hit a flush with a backhand and she did take it. So there's not many people that can take a flush backhand. So fair play to her. I know you were first up today, uh, but it is a historic event. I, I know you're going to shower, get changed, and you're probably going to be here till the very, very I'm end. But... I wanted. <laughs> I'm so excited to go sit out there. There's loads of Swindon out there. That's what I was smiling at as I walked through, because all I could hear was my lot from the gym. I was like, hey, they actually came. <laughs> out of the two, obviously, the two of the biggest fights on the, on the, on the show tonight, Alicia, Maya, and then obviously Clarissa and, and Savannah, <laughs> which one are you looking forward to the most tonight? I think the Alicia one, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, I uh, I made weight with her last time when we were all in the Intercontinental. We were chatting away, and I was like, "Oh my god, she's been one of my heroes for so long." <laughs> That's <a> proper fangirl. <laughs> so yeah, it's really wicked. Um, the place is amazing, isn't it? I've never fought at the O2 before. I mean, I've done Wembley and that. I thought that was pretty decent. But this is um, oh sorry, there's the dock. <laughs> but yeah, no, this was really cool, and I'm really grateful I got to got to do it. I mean, you don't. Me uh, great grandkids are going to be sick of Nana back, aren't they? Going, well, when I was uh, <laughs> sick of boxing stories by the end of it, aren't they? <laughs> Prediction for the main event? Obviously, I know every, everyone I've spoken to this week, I would say most have predicted Clarissa. But I, you... I see, I've gone Savannah, because obviously, UK, I do want Savannah to win. But I like Clarissa a lot, and it's a close fight, isn't it? There's no, it could go either way. Um, and it's fiery between those women, isn't they? Like, I don't know. They, they're just that next level up because, I mean, I've done two camps now for this fight, to be honest. 
by the time I got here tonight, I was just like, get this out the way. It's been over my head, like, all summer. I missed out on barbecues and parties because I'm not one of those that can just go sit there and have water. I'm like, oh, I hate you all. <laughs> so I've been missing out on everything. I was thinking I can't wait to just, like, chill with the family and just go for a roast and have a glass of wine. <laughs> with the five guys around the corner. Oh, that sounds good. Well, yesterday I was so excited and I think my stomach... <laughs> I mean, I lip floated now because I've drank a shed load of water. But yesterday, I was like, yes, like food. We ran to Nando's, ordered everything. I got like a mouthful in and I was like, oh, I'm dying. <laughs> Coach was like, oh my God, you look, you look worse now than before the way. And I was like, yeah, thanks. <laughs> well, Beck, commiserations again tonight. I'm sure we're going to oh. see, like you said, another year of Beck Connolly on IFL TV. I'm sure everyone, I'm you're sh- not getting rid of me. Like, you're absolutely not getting rid of me. I hope it was entertaining anyway. I, I guess I like know. it was. Um, yeah, just fun. Really, really good fun. And we're seeing the women coming through now, aren't we? And it does put a smile on my face. Like, it really does. And as long as people want to keep seeing it, I'm going to keep coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go on. Go on, get ready, freshen up. And yeah, enjoy the rest of the night. About another 10 fights to go. Perfect. I'm going to do some interviews, I think. I'll just get my face done. And then this is the face of IFL TV for this evening, I'm afraid. <laughs> Have a sit down. <laughs> you want to see that famous comment on our intro and outro? <laughs> Relationships are not my forte. <laughs> Apparently, I'm becoming a meme. It's all over online. Maybe it should be boxing. It's not my forte. <laughs> Bet Conley, IFL TV. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. <laughs> I'm going to share something with you. That might put me in a very negative light. Yeah. Relationships are not my forte. <laughs> See if someone grabbed up my wife and saying. I'll walk away from here and this has been like a therapy session.